Welcome to Welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor to Tenkar's Tavern blog. And as you would probably know if you've been following this channel, I was at ShireCon this past weekend. Friday and Saturday came home today. And it got me thinking, because I ran a game of Swords and Misery Light slash Blades and Arcana Light. I ran a, I played in the game of Shadow Dark and I played the game of Paranoia. And it got me thinking as to what defines a game as being old school. And I've heard it said that well, old school games have high lethality. Well, they have a high risk. They have a high risk. There's a risk-reward aspect, which you don't always see in newer games. Newer games, I will say 5e, for example, play a bit more like your classic EverQuest, World of Warcraft, MMO. Uh, your opportunities to die are certainly there if you go in the wrong zone, but if you are going to places that are level appropriate. Your risk level is minimal to nothing and you will get rewards, right? That's how I remember uh, EverQuest. And for better rewards, yes, you might need a larger party. You know, might need, a, you know, to get a couple of groups together. It doesn't make a difference. You knew that there was very little risk for the rewards that you were going to be able to get. Same is generally not true with old school gaming. I was running uh, a session for first level characters. Now, I did add in a mechanic that I was calling uh, Fate's Hand, which allowed them to do some heroic actions. It was a play test of sorts. And that was well received, but players were getting slapped around. Uh, players, sorry, PCs, player characters were getting slapped around. Dice were rolled out in the open. There was uh, an opportunity for PCs to die. Now, they didn't because. They actually played it very well. I was by that. And my dice weren't as lucky as I might have hoped. I don't look for TPKs. I, I do like to enjoy the, the once or twice having somebody have to go, oh, do I need to roll up a new character? Yeah, I like that. Kind of. It's fun. At a convention game. But I also noticed that people are willing to do things at a convention game that they are not willing to do in a home campaign. And I actually discussed this with my wife, Rach, and she only plays at conventions, but she does listen in to my gaming sessions on occasion and does hear my stories about them. She goes, when I'm at a convention, even though the way I run it, you can bring your character back. If you survive two sessions of me at a convention, you're level two. I go, each of, even though you, you allow that, she goes, I'm more apt to take risky actions at a convention because I know that PC death is part of the play. So move on to Shadow Dark. My character in Shadow Dark was brought to negative hit points three times. I was a dwarf wizard who had a pretty good burning spell when I could cast it. When I couldn't cast it, I went into combat. And I got lucky. And I got cocky. And I wouldn't have done that at, in a home campaign, right? Because if I was playing that with, you know, Joe, Tim, Rob, Greg, Vance, I'd want my character to survive. My, my spell is, I can't get my spell back to tomorrow. Dude, I'm hanging in the back, but I'm at a convention. I want to have fun. 
I want to be part of the action. In a home campaign, you're more apt to think long term. Hmm. So, last game that we played was Paranoia. Paranoia was so lethal, they give you multiple clones. Uh, I only died once. We had somebody else that died uh, three times. But it's expected from that system. And that system is an old school system. It's from the eight. That's the system, the setting. The, you know, the system has morphed over the years, but Paranoia as a concept, as a setting, has been around since the late 80s. It's lethal. Other games from the old school, Role Master, Star Master, Traveler, RuneQuest, all these games, Call of Cthulhu, oh my God, Chivalry and Sorcery, Bushido, these games were lethal for the player characters in that if you survived, it was an accomplishment, right? That was part of the beauty of old school RPGs, the challenge. The graphic up on the screen, right? This party stumbles into a beholder's lair or is traveling. And I found this by putting oh shit run OSR into a Google search. Because we often define OSR amongst ourselves is oh shit run why why oh shit run well because you don't necessarily encounter stuff that is bound to your level 5e has this whole way of balancing encounters because you shouldn't encounter something that you can't handle or well a well equipped party can't handle it Whatever. No, in the OSR, you're going to have creatures, encounters, situations where discretion is the better part of valor. And part of old school play is to know when to retreat. This is more so in campaign play, I think, than in convention play, because convention play has a set time and goals to be accomplished and they are challenging and you know characters can die i don't like to kill any characters off at a convention within the first two hours of a session i want my players to at least get a good half session and they can, they can be dragging ass but i would rather not kill them earlier than that so i set up adventures that are easier in the front and harder as they get towards their goal and even if they don't, even if they fail to get into their goal they should have been like well we didn't we didn't get the goal but man that challenge was awesome right in home play the challenge i just realized that in joe the lawyer's 2e game we've been playing for a year and a half my character is a sixth level gnomish priest that's a year and a half playing twice a month for generally three and a half, four hours each session. That's pretty good. Um and I'm pleased and yes, we've had deaths in the in the uh, party. PCs have died. And you feel it and you feel bad for not just the character that died but for the player that was running him. And I don't, but that's part of the lore, I think, of old school games, is that your characters can die. It's not like 5e where there's so many safety systems play, put into place that character death is unheard of. Without risk, reward has very little value. Right? Just my thought. I'm going to go over a few things over the next week or so of what I feel. Right? This is 
This is Tim Cor speaking. What I feel defines OSR gains, and I expect a lot of feedback. I expect some pushback. Maybe ultimate gains don't have to be lethal, but I do believe that risk reward factor is a huge aspect of what makes a game old school in nature, if not in history. But let me know what you think. Uh, folks, there's a link on the bottom of the screen 10 cards there, tavern dot game slash cubicle seven. That will take you to Humble Bundle. There is a Humble Bundle uh, bundle for. Uh, some Warhammer 40k RPG material, including uh, what, what, what is it? That one I want to say, Free Trader. I have it on my damn shelf. Tells you, tells you how. See, I, I just came back. You uh, double check this. What, what, what it's uh, their warrior book and their trader book, Space Marine. Oh. That's the fiction, the Space Marines. Rogue Trader, Darr, and uh, Death Watch. So those are the systems that are up as a single bundle. And then there are Tales of the Space Marines. That's also up. So, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll the dice, roll them well. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've made it this far. I'll catch you all later tonight, 8 p.m. tonight. Rach and I, we're going to be doing a live stream, Gamer's Health. Hope to see you then. Later, folks.